More than 40 people were forced out of their homes today due to a gas leak in Fond du Lac. That is where we find our Jamont Terry with the very latest. Jamont. Yeah, Charles, some very tense moments this afternoon when people were forced out of their homes. Tonight, crews are working over my shoulder and going door to door to homes, relighting pilot lights after this gas leak. As a construction crew worked at the corner of 9th and Lloyd in Fond du Lac, it became clear something wasn't right. Absolutely, you could hear it coming out of there. It was escaping pretty fast. It was the sounds and smell of gas seeping. While digging, a crew hit a gas line. It was a massive leak. Uh, the fire department come to the back door and they said, ma'am, you need to leave and grab your shoes and let's get going. We had to hurry up and out of here. Brenda Niles lives right at the corner where the gas leak occurred. When I seen him running and stuff, I was like, okay, something's up. This is not good and <laughs> heard the noises and I was like, yep, here we go. Emergency crews evacuated Brenda and nearly 40 other homes. Grab she was grab kids and leave. Michelle Moore tells me the urgency was very clear. No, we couldn't get in the car. We had to just go and get out the street and get out the house. We couldn't even move as fast as we wanted to. We had to walk down the street as quick as ever. Cars have an ignition source. So, you know, a vehicle causes uh, ignition. And when that does, there's a spark. And if the gas is the right level of explosive, it would blow up. Nearly three hours after leaving their homes, Alliance Energy crews let neighbors back home. But as they went door to door, some people were told they can't use their stoves for several more hours. We can't cook. We can't even use the heat if we needed to. We can't do anything that has anything to do with gas. And tonight, many people are coming home realizing that their gas is still off. The good news in all of this, no one was injured. Reporting in Fond du Lac Live, Jermont Terry, today's TMJ4. All right, Jermont, thanks.